Hey everyone, welcome to the AQ Outdoors and Aquabatics Calgary Whitewater Kayak Skills online video series. Today we are looking at how to apply our flat water bow draw progression into moving water. If you haven't already worked through our flat water bow draw video lesson, start by clicking the link above and checking it out. As with all our sessions, we try to lay a simple skills to build a fully rounded and successful hole maneuver. Our moving water bow draw progression will be no different. Again, this lesson will make a lot more sense if you've at least checked out our flat water bow draw progression. To get the most out of this video, you will need to be comfortable with the following skills. A flat water bow draw, ability to do controlled carving eddy turns, you're able to do ferry glides, and you have comfort in at least class two moving white water. For this session, we are looking for a location with the following attributes. A defined eddy line with an amount of current that you're ultra comfortable with. We want the eddy to be relatively deep and have some space. The current needs to be wide enough that you can do some longer radius turns. Ideally, the eddy will be long enough that you can do the manoeuvre, point downstream and make it back into the eddy again to repeat and practice. We want the zone to be hazard free as possible, so if you do make an error, the consequences are minimal. As we mentioned in our flat water bow draw progression, it's super important to note that there are many ways to execute a bow draw. As instructors, we use this foundation draw to build to many more technical variations of bow initiated turning strokes. The next few clips are examples of the bow draw in action in moving water. They highlight using it both entering and exiting eddies. At this point, we want to highlight the fact that the bow draw is enhancing or controlling the turning radius of the boat not initiating the turn. With good angle control when we leave the eddy, the water is doing that in a controlled fashion for us. The bow draw is used to create controlled turning momentum from a longer drawn out carve all the way through to a tighter, small midstream eddy turn. For this progression, we're going to build on the flat water bow draw progression and throw in a few hopefully familiar concepts. As a start note, we are simply going to focus on leaving eddies to begin with. However, the technique for entering eddies is largely the same. Start out by doing some controlled carving eddy turns leaving the eddy. We just want to make sure that the boat is not turning downstream uncontrollably in your chosen location. If it does, the bow draw will have little effect. Now that you have that dialed, simply repeat the controlled eddy turn and once you are across the eddy line, simply rotate your body downstream and align the paddle with the downstream edge of the boat. The boat at this point should still be turning in a slow controlled arc, even without any paddle strokes from the paddle. Once that is comfortable and controlled, we want to start introducing the draw component. Again, we will lose you a bit here if you haven't seen our flat water progression, so give it a quick look before proceeding by clicking the link above. Now, using your controlled eddy turn and dynamic body rotation, Add the blade slicing forward from the back of the boat and slowly opening up downstream away from the kayak. If you do this slowly, you will start to feel pressure building on the blade. This pressure is your turning force. The more pressure, the greater ability to turn. Note, it is important that the slicing component of the stroke starts in the current, not on the eddy line or in the eddy. Boat angle control is key here. This is all about reps now. What we would recommend doing is repeating this a bunch in the same spot. Make sure the movement feels smooth, and once it does, start focusing on the feel of the power building on the blade. Remember, power equals stability and turning power. No power on the blade means the stroke is not effective and probably more of a problem than a help. Once it is all comfortable, using faster and slower versions of opening the blade angle up, play around with the longer and shorter radius turns though, make sure you're not just spinning on the eddy line. One final test is to add in the driving your upstream knee and foot towards the paddle blade like we did in the flat water progression. See if you can, in one bow draw stroke, get the boat to turn back towards the eddy you came out of. If you can do that, then you've dialed in the timing and building of power on this stroke. Before we go into the troubleshooting component, it is important to note, this stage of the bow draw isn't ultra useful for stopping in really tight midstream eddies. We actually scrapped the slice from the back of the boat to the middle of the boat and skipped straight to the open blade around the middle of the kayak. This will be in another video though. Right now, we are focusing on body positioning and boat control. 
Some of the common problems we see paddlers having trying to execute the bow drawing moving water are boat spinning on the eddy line. This doesn't allow the draw to enhance the turn as the boat is already spinning out of control. The stroke is initiated on the eddy line or in the eddy. This doesn't allow us to build pressure on the blade and is often accompanied with a feeling of instability. Using the back of the blade, this gives us no spin speed control and just scrubs any momentum we have. It also usually winds up in instability. The blade angle is opened up too quickly. This means the paddler sheds power off the blade and loses the benefit of the stroke very quickly. The paddler doesn't turn their wrists forwards to release pressure once the boat is spinning. The blade then collides with the bow and creates a high level of instability. The next step for this skill are to continue practicing the position, timing and control and also working on a variety of radius of turns using this stroke. Also, practice this coming into eddies. Just reverse everything and make sure the slicing part of the stroke happens in the eddy, not in the current or on the eddy line. After that, there are an endless number of variations you can work towards. Many we hope to cover in future videos. There are lots of nuances to this stroke, but the big picture ones in our progression are, dial in the maneuver in flat water so the movements are familiar. Choose an easy and comfortable site to dial in the mechanics. Ensure you have great angle control and the bow isn't being swept downstream in an uncontrolled way. The stroke itself starts in the current, not on the eddy line or in the eddy. Work on varying turn trajectories and ultimately being able to spin the boat past downstream and back towards the eddy you came out from in one stroke. This variation of the moving water bow drawer is a great foundation to build from for many different applications of the stroke. This is by no means the only way to teach, learn or execute this maneuver, but one we've had a lot of success with over the years. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Thanks so much for checking out this video. We really hope you enjoyed it and find it useful. For more great educational videos, please subscribe to our channel or check out our courses and more info at aqoutdoors.com.